hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate sign in with google with firebase using the credentials manager api native android application now i have already done a video about just sign in with google without firebase using credential manager so if you are interested you can watch that video this video will be uh, with firebase for native android application with credential manager so let's get started so firstly just create a native android project i have already created it i am using xml layout but if you want you can use jetpack compose as well once you create a native android project uh, the next thing is uh, you will require to generate a sha1 certificate now to generate a sha1 certificate you can just copy this command so this is for uh, debug key okay for release key it is little different i will show you that uh, separately so uh, for debug key just open the terminal of your android studio and then run this command uh, dot slash gradle w sign in report and once you do that you will get the sha1 uh, sha1 key uh, do copy this key because we will be using this uh, in some uh, place of firebase so this might take little bit of time uh, anyways by the time it is generated to to generate release key like while deploying it to google play store uh, you will have to use this particular command uh, but you will have to change this value slightly so here instead of uh, this uh, key path you will have to change it to the path where your release key store is located so these are this is a debug key, key store path right change it then uh, this should be your uh, release key alias whatever you have named it this should be your store password and this should be your key password currently it is android android but don't write this uh, for release key i'm talking about now here you can see for debug key it has already generated and you will have to scroll up a little go to this debug and this is your sha1 certificate i will just copy it for now next you will just go to firebase click on create new project and i'll just give it some random name you can name it uh, whatever you feel like uh, okay so this is my project name i'll accept the firebase term i'll accept this as well i'll click on continue i don't need all this firebase analytics i'll just disable it and i'll wait for the project to get completed uh, by the time this is initializing you will what you will have to do is firstly uh, go to your android manifest and make sure you add this internet permission uh, once that is done uh, go to proguardrules.pro and make sure you add this bit of code as well because if you are enabling proguard for release mode uh, there could be a chance that your credential manager code might uh, be removed due to shrinking so it's better you add this bit of code inside your proguard-rules.pro file as well once uh, that is done okay let's go back to our project i'll click on continue over here uh, once that is done just click on add uh, this android icon uh, select your package name uh, i'll just select this one okay and i'll paste it uh, then it also ask you for debug sha1 certificate so i have already missed so i'll just copy this and i'll paste it over here i'll click on register app okay then it gives you google services.json file to download do not download this google services.json file i will tell you why you don't have to download this we'll have to download an updated version once you update uh, once you enable the google sign in option so do not download this just click on next uh, you will have to use this so just copy this code i have already done it so go to uh, build.gradle of your uh, app so this one sorry not the app this one uh, root of your uh, project and just add it over here whatever you see okay so then uh, we have we don't need to copy this code because this is by default present inside android applications so if you go to this build.gradle here you can see it is little bit different but it is more or less the same then you have to copy this bit of code as well com.google uh, gms google services so i have already copied it once then you have to copy this as well uh, so here you can see if i scroll down i have copied it uh, i'm using that version catalog thing that's why the uh, version um, number has been moved to this libs.versions.toml which i will show you shortly uh, but you can add this for now and then just click on next and click on continue to console next you will have to go to build authentication tab and here you just click on get started 
then select google then enable this and here you can change the project name to whatever you want the public facing name to be so once the user clicks on your sign in button it might show you, uh, your firebase project name so it's better uh, you use some uh, proper name so i'll just keep it as it is but if you want you can just change it as my second project or whatever makes sense to you we have to select a support email for as well so i'll just select my root email address don't worry about this web client id and web client secret we don't have to worry uh, don't have to add all of this just click on save so again this might take little bit of time by that time what you will have to do is you will also need to add this firebase or dependency so make sure you add this implementation details then you because we are using credential manager we have to add these four dependencies as well again the version number has been moved to libs.versions.toml so make sure you add all four of this then go to this libs.versions.toml and here you can see i have added this play services auth okay then this firebase bomb dependency and credential play services auth as well so, okay so firebase bomb we don't require version number for this because we are using firebase bomb then credentials and google id okay auth so google id as well you will have to add so make sure you add this then uh, here you will have to add this credentials so this credential play services auth uh, so this one okay as well as this one you will have to add and then you will also need to add this uh, this entire bit of dependency android x credential play services auth uh, this entire bit of stuff just add it and make sure you add this credentials uh, uh, play services auth which i have already shown you then we have to add this firebase bomb dependency which i have just shown you so here you can see this is the firebase bomb dependency which you can add then this google id dependency so make sure you add this bit of code and here we are referencing our google id dependency and what else then the last one uh, play services auth so make sure you add this dependency as well and here you can see i have added this play services auth so i think that should be it uh, okay then just click on sync now it will download all the dependencies for you so i'll just close this close this and close this uh, okay then uh, we'll come come back to firebase okay so here it is giving me an error because i have used the same package name and uh, same uh, shavan certificate for uh, some other firebase project as well but uh, this is fine you don't have to worry about it so you should see something like this then uh, you won't see that error uh, which i was facing because i use the same shavan and same uh, package name that's why uh, in some other firebase project as well so just go to project settings then scroll down and then you will have to select your uh, package name so if you have multiple android apps uh, choose the proper one okay so i only have one android app that's why it is selecting then from here you have to download the google services.json file because if you have downloaded previously then this google sign in uh, option might not have been part of this google services.json and it might have caused you lot of pain so make sure now you download the google services.json file after enabling the google sign in in the authentication tab okay so uh, i have already downloaded it and then what you will have to do is you will have to go to this project drop down over here and you will have to drag and drop the google services.json file inside the app folder so here you can see i have already downloaded it. i have already dragged and dropped it or copy paste whatever you feel like then inside activity underscore main uh, i have just taken two button one for sign in and one for logout there is one sign up button as well which is in the firebase google sign in documentation but according to me it is pretty much useless uh, it didn't do anything for me but i will show you the sign up code it, sign up code it is very similar to sign in but uh, like the sign up does not make sense because uh, we are not using email password right we are using uh, google authentication why we require sign up we can just do sign in and uh, some of you might be thinking that okay we require sign up because we want to link uh, the google account to firebase that is already part of sign in so we don't have to worry about that but i don't know i just wanted to show it to you maybe in future it might cause some problem uh, anyways for now just concentrate on sign in and log out okay so i've added these two buttons then inside main activities these are all the imports so if you want you can copy paste all these imports which i have then i'll scroll down 
सो हियर फर्स्टली आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस गूगल आई डी ऑप्शन सेट फिल्टर बाय ऑथराइज मेक श्योर यू कीप दिस एज फॉल्स डो नॉट कीप दिस इज एज ट्रू कीप इट एज फॉल्स एंड यू माइट बी वंडरिंग वेर डिड वी एड दिस डिफॉल्ट वेब क्लाइंट आई डी सो इफ आई शो यू माई स्ट्रिंग्स डॉट एक्स एम एल आई जस्ट गो टू द एंड्रॉयड ड्रॉप डाउन बिकॉज इट इज रेफरेंसिंग द स्ट्रिंग्स डॉट एक्स एम एल राइट आई गो टू आर ई एस आर ई एस ले आउट नो सॉरी वैल्यूज स्ट्रिंग्स डॉट एक्स एम एल हियर यू कैन सी आई डोंट हैव दैट पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रिंग नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रिंग इज बीन जनरेटेड फ्रॉम योर गूगल सर्विसेज डॉट जेसन फाइल विच यू हैव एडेड सो इफ आई ट्राई टू क्लिक ऑन इट हियर यू कैन सी इट इज जनरेटेड अंडर द बिल्ड फोल्डर सो वैन यू आर ट्राइंग टू डू ग्रेडल सिंग इन केस इफ यू आर गेटिंग एनी एरर Uh, that this default web client is not recognized. Make sure you just click on this Gradle Sync icon again. Even if you are getting that error, then click on this Build icon again. Even after that, you are getting error, then you have messed up this Google Services dot JSON file. Make sure you enable the Google Sign In option in Authentication tab, which I have shown you, and then download the Google Services dot JSON file. So this is very important part, which uh, tripped me a lot. so we don't have to worry about this default web client okay then just create this request and get hold of your credential manager so for log out you just have to launch a coroutines and then just do clear credential state request and credential manager dot clear credential state pass the log out request ignore the sign up for now coming back to sign in again we have to launch one coroutine we just have to do dot credential pass our request pass our activity and here we just do credential result dot credential and if credential is custom credential and credential dot type is type google id uh, token credential which i have shown you the import for then we just do google id token credential and once we have that id token we just pass it to google auth provider dot get credential and pass that id token to it so we get the firebase credential and we just do firebase dot or dot sign in with credential firebase credential and here we just await for it and once you have this data inside that uh, all details of user are present like the display name the email and uid so that's it for sign in i'll show you the output in a bit but coming back to sign up it is pretty much same as sign in so this entire part is same the only difference is link with credential now here comes the confusion when i do this link with credential and when i try to print this data i am getting null apart from getting null that uh, google id which i have selected does not get linked to firebase so i don't see that uh, google id in the firebase uh, console dashboard so i don't see it over here but when i try to do sign in it automatically does the sign in as well as that uh, email id is also linked on the firebase dashboard so that's the advantage so i don't know why they have given up the sign in sign up part only sign in is according to me uh, necessary so anyways uh, let's quickly show you the output one more thing which i want to show which i want to mention before i show you the output is that once you get this uh, display name email and i uid Uh, this uh, firebase uh, will maintain a session for you like uh, you can use firebase or dot current user signed in and uh, if you have to log out like apart from this credit so this is for credential manager right so firebase also has its own log out function like firebase auth dot uh, sign out i guess uh, yeah something like this so something like this also you will have to use so firebase will maintain a state for you you don't have to worry too much about it uh so if you want uh, you can get those uh, user details from firebase as well every time the user login and if well, every time the user opens your app and if you if uh, he or she has already uh, logged in into your app also i have quickly added one more line of code like this toast message so in case if the user is not already logged in you will get this uh, as null but if the user is already logged in you will get a proper email depending on that you can know whether the user is logged in or not uh now let's see the output now sorry about this i have blurred the output because i don't want to reveal my email address but if i click on sign in uh it should show you this uh, pop up option uh, and from that pop up uh, bottom modal dialog i can just pick one uh, email address okay so once the email address has been picked if i go to locket i am able to see the username Uh, the email id as well as the uid also if i go to my firebase console if i refresh it uh, this might take a little bit of time you 
can see that uh, that email id is reflected on my firebase dashboard as well again sorry the output is little blurred but if i try it i will just try to re uh, rerun my application st from the start so that i can see the toast message of what the user so i'm able to see the toast message as well with the email id of the signed in user if i log out so again i'm not really doing anything but if i i have logged out i have clicked on the logged out button and if i re just rerun my application uh, in the toast message i should be able to see null so yeah i'm able to see null yeah that's it thank you for watching bye